Well, it's a uh, show where there's more than meets the eye. Cody is standing by with a world-renowned magician from Masters of Illusion. And a few minutes ago, I asked Cody uh -huh. if he had his glitter. I have to say, I respect a man who has an extra stash of glitter. Always, always. Dan, are you ready, sir? Are you ready? It's time now yeah, for yeah, no magic. <laughs> magic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have Dan Sperry for Masters of Illusion joining us right now. Dan, they call you the anti-conjurer. What does that mean, man? Uh, that's uh, that's uh, it actually doesn't mean anything. That's just a word that I invented. <laughs> uh, when I was uh, living in Chicago, here. I used to um, uh, perform and open for uh, like DJs and bands and stuff uh -huh. at like uh, nightclubs and whatnot. And if uh, if they were to promote. Uh, that it just said like you know you know DJ so and so and magician, you know Dan Sperry. Some of the uh, some some of the patrons may not have stuck around to watch that, so I came up with a different <laughs> word that uh, that just sounded interesting to hopefully make people stay and and watch as I like did this. The, the performance sets in between the DJs or the bands or whatever. That is great, man. That is great. Now you <laughs> travel. I mean, you work all the time, all the time. You're always going around the world and everything. How has it been with this crazy COVID lockdown stuff? What are you doing with your time, man? Uh, well, because of like you said, I mean, because I, I mean, booked and blessed. I, I'm very fortunate that I that I get to work a lot all over the world. But I realized uh, when when all of a sudden everything got the brakes put on it, right? I realized like I don't even have a hobby, so <laughs> like I I didn't know what to do. So I started like uh, you know uh, making little models, you uh -huh. know, like buying model kits. Like not only did I stop working, but I suddenly aged like 40 years <laughs> and um, like putting together little models with the with the glue and painting them and everything um and uh and so so i tried that uh i painted my house and that's it like i said i oh. don't have any hobbies so if you or anybody has any suggestions to help <laughs> me out to keep me from mumbling to myself well uh, i could i could use some help hit, painting hit me up on uh, on instagram or I, something. I could use some help painting my daughter's bedroom but besides that i've wow. got nothing for you okay we <laughs> always challenge black. we challenge our masters of illusion guests to do some sort of thing for us are you prepared? Right, sure. Yeah, yeah, we can do something okay, uh, really okay. quick here with this uh, with this uh, box of matches here. I'm going to try to hold it up to my camera a bit to get it in the light. So I guess you see, I have a box of matches, uh, and this is um, since you're not actually here, we're just going to do this like in your mind. We're actually, I'm not uh, really a fan of like card tricks and those kinds of things uh -huh. because I think they're pretty obvious. You know, you've probably seen a lot of card tricks. So what we're going to do is we're going to commit arson. And burn wow. a deck of cards. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what I need you to do right now is when you think of a deck of cards, you know, there's picture cards and number cards. So your choice, name one, picture cards or numbers. Uh, let's do numbers. We only need, we, on, uh, we only need to, uh, instead of you picking a card, we need to uh, eliminate them. So we're going to burn the number cards, right? Okay. Okay. So we, we, if you were here, we're going to light this match uh, in our, in our minds and our imaginations. You would light the match and burn the number cards. Then that leaves picture cards. So that's uh, Jack, uh, Queen, uh, or King. King. Uh -huh. So uh, we're gonna light a match and burn which ones? Uh, uh, name, name, Jack Queen King. Name the pictures. Uh, let's uh, let's burn a Jack. Okay, Jack. So uh, Queen uh, or King? Uh, queen. So, uh, queen. Sorry. So uh, let's just we'll, we'll just we'll just cut it down because this is obviously gonna take a while. So we'll just we'll just uh, <laughs> cut to the chase, Queen. So that, it's also red and black. Sorry, we need to get rid. So uh, let's say you want to uh, keep the uh, a Queen, uh, red Queen or black Queen. Uh, let's do black Queen. Black Queen. Okay, and. Uh, uh, now I said this is a, a box of matches, and I've been holding it up the entire time. There's actually there aren't any matches in here. Uh, there's actually oh, one playing what? card. Now you said a black queen. Oh, yes. Uh, that would mean either clubs or spades. Oh. Name one. Which uh, one do you want? The queen of clubs or the queen of spades? Let's do a queen of spades. Okay. If you if you look, I'll try and get the light on it. If you look, you'll notice it's it's all burnt up. It's uh -huh. held with one paper clip. That's that's for that's for theater. Uh -huh. Santa. <laughs> the Santa. Uh, if I take the paper clip off, um, sorry, you said uh, you said one queen. What queen was it again? A black queen spade. Black queen of spades. That's uh -huh. good because that's the only card that <gasps> survived <gasps> the entire uh, <laughs> the entire arson. Yes! And, it was all your decision. and we didn't set this up, right? We didn't yes! set this up. So these people think it's because it's Zoom. We set this up, but we didn't. This was all your free choice. This is crazy, dude. That was amazing. Thank you so much. He will be You're on. Welcome. Now go to church. <laughs> <laughs> he will be on Masters of Illusion Friday night. It's right here on the CW. Wow. Uh, it is a fantastic show. It goes like this. It's a great hour. There's two shows, but it makes a great hour of your night. Dan, thank you so much, man. That was great.
Thanks for having me. You guys have a good day. I hope you get to travel soon, man. You are awesome. All right, back to you, Court. Bye, guys.